Winter Field Day 2025 is here this weekend, Saturday, January 25th, and Sunday, January 26th. Get ready, this is one of the biggest ham radio events of the year, and there are some huge updates this year that are going to make your Winter Field Day even better. In this video, we'll show you how to participate and log your contacts, so even if you're brand new to contesting and events, this video will help you get started. We'll also review the objectives and rules, including some updates, so even if you've done Winter Field Day before, you're gonna wanna pay attention and not miss any of this. And we're going to be debuting an entirely new Winter Field Day contest logbook and live scoring within World Radio League that is unlike anything that has ever been built in ham radio contesting before. So you definitely don't wanna miss that. Let's dive in. So for the new hams, what is Winter Field Day? Winter Field Day is a practical field exercise, which is like a contest in ham radio, but it's not a standard contest per se. You're still logging your contacts on ham radio and trying to score points, but the real goal of Winter Field Day is to help participants improve their preparedness for disaster and emergency communications, especially in adverse conditions like winter storms, which is why it's held in the winter. The emphasis is on operating portable. So if you can get out and set up a remote station, much like you would for a POTA activation, that's a great way to operate. You can operate by yourself or you can operate with a club or group. If you're getting ready for Winter Field Day and you wanna find a local club to operate with, you can enroll in the Winter Field Day event at worldradioleague.com and you'll see a participant map of all the other members and clubs near you. You can use the messaging and community feature to drop them a message. Maybe you'll find a new operating partner. Maybe you'll find a club. Hey, anybody gonna be operating around Peachtree Corners, Georgia? Shoot me a message. You can also check the official winterfieldday.org website for clubs as well. Winterfieldday.org is the official website for rules and log submission after the event. So you wanna have that URL saved and handy. We'll add links to both worldradioleague.com and winterfieldday.org. Now, if you can't get out and operate remote or with a group, or if you just have a few hours you need to operate from home, don't let that stop you from hopping on your radio at home and logging some contacts. There's a special category for home operations, so that is perfectly fine. The most important thing is to get active and participate. Even if you just log a few contacts, it really helps event participation and keep the event going. Now let's talk about the rules. Winter Field Day lasts for 30 hours from 1600 UTC on Saturday the 25th to 2159 UTC on Sunday, January 26th. In EST, that is 11 a.m. EST Saturday to 459 EST on Sunday. The rules are really easy and they're designed to get all hams involved. You can operate on any band, including VHF, UHF, and HF, except for a few exceptions on the HF bands of 12, 17, 30, and 60. Don't operate on those bands. This means you can make contacts on your HT as well as your HF station, but you can't log somebody else from the same group you're operating with. That's just too easy and it doesn't count. That means you can operate on the HF bands 10, 20, 40, 80, 2 meter and 70 meter on VHF UHF. If you've got no idea what I'm talking about, I'll add a band plan link with the video so you can see the bands and frequencies and know which ones you can use. You can also operate on almost any mode, including CW, voice modes like FM and SSB, digital modes like PSK, RIDI, Olivia, SSTV, JS8, and more. You'll get one QSO point for each voice contact and two QSO points for each CW and digital contact. So operating digital can help increase your score. You're limited to 100 watts PEP and repeater contacts are not allowed. It's also important to note that FT4 and FT8 do not count for any points in winter field day. So don't fire up WSJTX and log FT4 and FT8 contacts. But as you can see, overall, the rules are generally made so that pretty much anybody can participate on any type of radio and still have a really good time. 
Now let's talk about logging your contacts for Winter Field Day. And I'm really excited to show you the new Winter Field Day logger we've built at World Radio League in collaboration with Marvin from the Winter Field Day team. So before you start logging, you need to know your exchange. And every ham radio contest has an exchange, which is just the information you say to the other operator during the contest while you're making your contact. In Winter Field Day, similar to the Summer Field Day, there are two parts to the exchange. First part is the class, and the second part is the section. The class is a number representing the number of transmitters you are operating with, like one, two, three, followed by a letter representing the class options. In Winter Field Day, there's four class options. H for home station, I for indoor station, which is a station operating away from home, but in a permanent or indoor structure, like a cabin or community center. Indoor stations generally have plumbing, heating, cooling, and running water. O is for outdoor station, like a temporary tent, a picnic table, or a park pavilion. And outdoor stations are where you generally set up your own heat source and protection from the elements. And M is for a mobile station where you are operating from a car, truck, RV, van, maybe even a sailboat. So if I'm operating with one transmitter from home, my class would be 1H. If I'm operating with two transmitters mobile, it would be 2M. If I'm operating with three transmitters outdoor, my class would be 3O. The second part of your exchange is the section. And the section is your ARRL slash RAC section, which in the United States is almost the same as your state, except some larger states are broken down into various sections. So for me in Georgia, my section is GA Golf Alpha or Georgia. You can see here that Florida, as an example, is broken up into Northern Florida, NFL, and Southern Florida, SFL. Now, the World Radio Logger is built specifically for Winter Field Day. So when you go into the contest page, you click Enroll, it's going to automatically create your logbook. Within your settings, it's going to guide you through setting up your exchange, and it's going to display your exchange back to you on your logger, so you always have it visible as a reference when you're logging and talking on the air. It also has the exchange fields to enter for the exchange of the other operator when you make a contact. Let's log a contact here as an example. And let's say I'm calling CQ and I make a contact with Andy in zero APX. So I'm gonna say CQ winter field day, CQ winter field day. This is November zero whiskey radio Lima. Then Andy's gonna answer my CQ call back with his call sign, November zero alpha papa x-ray. Then I'll answer him back and I'll say N0 APX, this is N0 WRL 1H in Georgia. And he might answer back QSL to let me know that he copies and say, this is N0 APX 1H in Missouri. I'd say thanks for the contact and QRZ to indicate that I'm ready for my next contact. Now, once I log that contact, I can track the contact on the map and I'll also show up on the live scoreboard. Any in-band frequency is fine for scoring, but make sure your band is set correctly. Your logbook settings allow you to change your call sign, location, and more within the World Radio League logger if needed. Now, WRL supports logging from your computer just by logging in at worldradioleague.com. Just make sure you have internet access if you're gonna use the website logger and to access internet-based features like the live scoreboard. But if you don't have internet access, don't worry, you can still use the WRL logger. Download the World Radio League mobile app for Android or iOS to log on your phone, which also supports offline mode. The iOS version will also run on M1 MacBooks, so you can run WRL online and offline on your desktop also. What if you have a club and you all want to log into the same logbook, a multi-user logbook? Well, just create a club account with WRL and share their credentials with your other club members. Then you can all log from computers or mobile apps and all your contacts will go into the same logbook automatically without any difficult networking setup. And logging for winter field day, as well as all of your general logging within WRL is 100% completely free. You should also know that Winter Field Day has 11 different objectives that you can complete, which act as multipliers for your score. You can easily reference those objectives within WRL and you can mark each one of them complete. And that's gonna adjust your score automatically as you mark them complete. 
The 11 different objectives are operate 100% on alternative power, operate away from home, deploy multiple antennas, make an FM satellite contact, make an SSB or CW satellite contact, send and receive at least one WinLink email, copy the Winter Field Day special bulletin, operate on at least six different bands, use multiple modes, operate QRP, meaning less than 10 watts of power, and operate six continuous hours during the event. If you want to read more about those objectives and access all of the official rules, go to winterfieldday.org. There's also going to be many first never before done features for Winter Field Day this year, including within WRL, you're going to be having a live scoreboard, an event live stream, and a map of all the other participants and contacts live during the event. You can see records of other contacts and statistics about the event, like operation by band and mode. You can see operator statistics and even which objectives the other participants have completed. You can also see details of the other operators in the event, like their log and their statistics. We'll also have a live chat, a live stream, and a community discussion going during the event. So check it out and you can even access the community on your mobile app if you're on the go and you don't have a laptop with you. Now, once the contest is completed, be sure to export your ADIF from the World Radio League logger and upload it into the Winterfield Day website for official scoring. But you don't have to wait to the event to get set up. Head over to worldradioleague.com and sign up today to get notifications about the event and get set up with your logger. Download the mobile app on Android and iOS so you have an offline capable logger with you at all times. And when you log on your mobile app, it's automatically gonna update the same contacts on the website. So you can use the website and you can use the mobile app interchangeably. It all syncs up, which is a really nice feature. Create a club account if you need to. Log a few test contacts and you can delete them just so you're familiar with the interface and, and ready to log. I wanna give a huge shout out to Marvin W0MET and Michael W4OPS for their great work in organizing Winter Field Day. Marvin Whiskey Zero, Mike Echo Tango is the president of Winter Field Day and he reached out to us with a vision about expanding and doing some awesome things for 2025. And we were able to collaborate and work hard over the last few weeks and months to make this collaboration happen and truly deliver something that's never been done before in ham radio. It's been hundreds of hours of work. And so I can't thank you enough, Marvin. I really appreciate the collaboration. And another huge thank you to all of the founding members who support World Radio League development costs. This is a labor of love and it truly would not be possible without you. Doing a development project at this scale in ham radio is not easy to pull off. And it's only thanks to our founding members that we're able to keep innovating. And trust me, this is just the start of where we're going with live contesting and lots of other features. So again, this is November Zero Whiskey Radio Lima saying 73, and we'll hear you on the air for Winter Field Day 2025. And now here's a special message from Winter Field Day President Marvin Whiskey Zero Mike Echo Tango. Hey everyone, this is Marvin Turner, W0MET. I'm the president of Winter Field Day, and welcome to Winter Field Day 2025. Whether you're braving the elements out in the field or working from the comfort of your shack, it's a fantastic time to put your skills to test and have a little fun. Winter Field Day is all about preparing for emergencies and honing our communication skills under less than ideal conditions. But let's be honest, it's also a great excuse to get outside, fire up some radios, and connect with the ham radio community. This is going to be a great weekend, and I'm going to be running my equipment and making contacts logging with World Radio League while enjoying some fresh air and hot coffee here in the New England area. And I don't want to forget, it's not just about the points, but it's about the experience and camaraderie and having a lot of fun with meeting other club members or maybe new club members. So bundle up, get your gear ready, and join in on the fun. Good luck out there, stay warm, and 73.